Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making fruitcake slash black cake with no eggs, no alcohol. So you all have been requesting this for quite some time and what I did was I took my mother-in-law's recipe that you all love and I made this cake for you. So sit back, let me show you how easy this one is going to be to make. So enjoy. To start this recipe, you're going to put all of the fruits in a bowl and we're going to be soaking it with some sorrel concentrate and some cranberry juice. If you wanted to put some sorrel petals in here, of course you can. So put whatever fruits you like, I'll list them down below. In goes cinnamon leaves or bay rum leaves, it's optional. A piece of leftover nutmeg, one cinnamon stick, and we're just going to give that a mix. I have all of the ingredients, as I said, listed in the description box. You're going to soak for a few days, a few weeks, months, or up to a year. And if you didn't soak yours, guess what? You just need to simmer your fruits for about 10 minutes on your stove and it will be ready. Now we're going to blend our fruits into the consistency you like. I like it somewhat chunky, not too smooth. So we're just going to set that aside bring over our butter or margarine my mother-in-law prefers margarine over butter so in goes sugar and we're going to cream now she does not add any sugar to her recipe but I wanted a little sugar in my recipe so you can omit the sugar if you want next we're going to add in strawberry jam or any other type of jam or applesauce and this is going to be our egg replacement she also uses strawberry jam and yes, she use it, uses eggs in her recipe, but if you guys wanted to use up the three eggs for this recipe, you can. So once that's properly mixed in, now we're going to add in our fruit puree. You're going to add in about three to four cups. The more you add, the richer it's going to be. You do want to add three to four cups. Anything less than that, it's not going to be as rich and decadent. Now once that comes together, we're going to add in our dry ingredients. So our flour, baking powder, and some baking soda, along with cake spice, or you can use cinnamon and nutmeg, vanilla or mixed essence, or almond essence. And you'll notice I'm placing these wet ingredients on the side. In goes my browning. Now you'll add browning and you'll always adjust as you're mixing. You don't want to add too much and it gets too black. Now she loves to put molasses, so I'm putting in the molasses. If you don't have the molasses, you can omit it. Now we're gonna start to mix to bring together. Now when she makes this, she mixes, mixes, mixes it really well because we're not looking for a spongy cake. We're looking for a dense and decadent sticky fruitcake so I put in some more of that browning because it wasn't the color that I wanted it this is the color that I wanted you want it to look like a rich chocolate cake so scrape down on the ends of your bowl give it a good mix and her tip is once the spatula stands up in the middle of the bowl like that it has enough flour if it falls down really easily you'll need to add some more flour now we're going to pour half of the mixture out into our prepared 8 inch pan. So make sure and grease and butter and flour really well. Pour half and this is what she does. She adds whole cherries. I love plenty cherries in mine. So you add any type of fruits you want here or you can omit this step in goes some prunes. I just love when she does this. Her cake is the absolute best. Now we're going to top it with the rest of the cake mixture. And we're going to top it with some more fruits. So more cherries because I just love to bite into cherries when I'm eating fruitcake. And some raisins. You can also add some more prunes. You can add some whole dates. Add whatever fruits you like. Now we're going to bake this at 350 degrees for 1 hour and 30 minutes until a skewer comes out clean. Once it's finished, 
you're going to soak it immediately now I'm using the sorrel concentrate you can use any type of juice or non-alcoholic wine or if you wanted to turn this recipe into an alcoholic recipe by all means go ahead and add whatever rum you like it's going to absorb really fast and you're going to be soaking this for a few days but you want to keep it refrigerated as it does not contain alcohol and then all you have to do is serve look how delicious does this look you see the fruits you see how gooey it is this is how i love my fruitcake and as it sits up guys it's going to set up better and it's not going to look really wet once it's al allowed to sit so this is what it looks like it was really delicious i can't wait for you all to make it you see how easy it was without the eggs without the alcohol so if you make it comment down below let me know what you think thank you all so much for joining me today do remember to stay safe happy holidays and i'll see you in my next video bye everyone